Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week I am building out of the Mighty Thor and Simeon is building out of Harley Quinn in the Gotham Girls. It has been a hot minute since we've done a Thursday Throwdown. We're still doing them guys, don't worry and make sure you guys get your votes in for this next one. There's some really cool sets. So Simeon, you have Harley Quinn in the Gotham Girls. Why don't you get into yes. your team? So we'll go off with uh, we'll go with most voted for first, and we've got uh, number zero four four. He's a rare in this set, Kite Man. Hell yeah, I think that's yeah. how they say it. Uh, Fifteen points. All he really does is the passenger two, but that's all he really needs to do. He's got Batman enemy, ten speed, energy shield. Uh, Fifteen points. What more do you want? At the beginning of your turn, if he's holding an object, he can move two squares. But if you're holding an object, you can't carry people. So he doesn't usually hold objects. Um, then we'll mm -hmm. go with the least amount of votes. This is the character that got zero votes, and I just added to the team because I had 40 points to spare. This is the L.E. Harlequin that came out when the set... This is the Roller Derby whatever one. So she's got Summon the Getaway Balloon. Free. Once per game, generate a hot air balloon vehicle bystander and her hot air balloon vehicle is it's got flight it's got sidestep it's got 18 defense with combat reflexes and willpower and passenger one for speed it's not a very fast getaway vehicle uh, she also has the trait my own death trap what's inside the box power given adjacent friend or jason opposing character a death trap token when a character with a death trap token is given a costed action after resolutions, remove the death trap token and roll a d6. Uh, on a 1 through 3, deal that character 1 penetrating damage. On a 4 through 6, you choose a direction and knock back that character a number of squares equal to the d6 result. She's got some weird mm. stuff going on in her dial, but uh, mostly close combat. Um, and then some mastermind towards the end, but she's... I hate the top dial because it's close combat mixed with energy shield, and that's just always a terrible combo. But yeah, yeah. very strange. Not a terrible forty points though. Uh, next up, we got Queen B. This is my this is my heavy hitter, which will kind of let you know how <laughs> good this team is. So Queen B, also a rare in the set number zero four seven. Uh, she starts with running shot and a special attack power that is mind control. Oh, boy. Uh, when she uses it, mm. she has three targets and may also target all opposing characters adjacent to an original target. So it's like energy explosion mm. mind control. So it's not as bad as it seems, but it's not quite 110 points worth. Uh, no ma uh, no willpower. She has drones from my hive trait. Uh, other friendly characters with the hive keyword or named B drone can use sidestep. And then another trait, alien hatching which is power generate a B drone bystander. And they've got, of course, they get sidestep from the one trait, and then they've got Two. flight and blades yeah. with a nine attack. Okay, that's the set of powers we're going with for these bees, because I'm seeing two uh, things here. It's kind of confusing. What things are you seeing? Oh, never mind. Don't worry about it. Sidestep, <laughs> okay. blades. Yeah. Just forget I said anything. Cut it out. Uh, next up is my... My backup heavy hitter, Catman. Uh, so he's number 005 in the set. Four range, which not bad. Uh, 50 points, uh, no indom, no special combat symbols at all. He's got charge blades top dial, then goes on to sidestep and precision strike. One click of regen, two clicks of prob control on his bottom dial. Uh, he's got the mm. only six of us trait, which is such a great trait when you break theme. Uh, it's stealth, but only when your force has three or more characters. Improved movement ignores hindering terrain, but only if your force has five or more characters. And then modify all combat values plus one, but only if your force has exactly six characters. Which is going to be kind of hard to keep in check with all the bystanders I can generate. So I oh, currently yeah. have six. So he will have all access to all of those. Um, but if I generate a balloon or a bee... Or uh, with Joker, if I generate Joker thugs, then he will lose the plus one to combat values. He'll still have the stealth. Mm -hmm. and that's about it. Um, then uh, my third heavy hitter. This is the the real powerhouse. This is the fifteen point oh, don't mercenary. Don't call it when you're heavy hitter. Yeah, everyone's my heavy hitter. 
because they're all bad. <laughs> um, five range, range combat expert, stealth, goes on to sidestep, willpower, which is great for a 15 point piece. And then a trait that doesn't really matter, but it's if my force only has this character on it, or just characters named Mercenary, but in my case, just this character. Mm -hmm. After resolutions, KO all friendly characters named Mercenary, which is great. Glad I didn't have a trait that was like for a mercenary, like uh, doesn't count against theme team or something, but no, that's fine. This one is super hard to read, but uh, Joker starts with three plot points. This is the title character Joker. He's got three clicks of charge, combat reflexes, outwit. Then he gets two clicks of sidestep, mastermind, prob, two clicks of stealth, mastermind, and empower, which would help if uh, he could live long enough towards the end. Um, so his KO trait, as all title characters have, his is at the beginning of your turn, deal one penetrating damage to each adjacent friendly character. Uh, oh, all my friendly characters get that for the rest of the game, I believe. Uh, for the rest of the game, yeah. Mm. So if he dies, yep. for the rest of the game, all my friendly characters have, at the beginning of my turn, I deal one penetrating damage to all adjacent friendly characters, which is rough. It means if my if I'm positioned poorly... When Calder takes him out, then the next turn, I might be dishing out a ton of damage to myself. Uh, he's got a plus one Acid Flower that is free deal one damage to each adjacent opposing character, which is not the same as Poison. I can move my full speed and then do this, or I can charge or whatever and then do this. I don't have to do it uh, not having moved. Uh, then his minus one is pick a card, free, roll a d6. On a one to two, move all adjacent opposing characters up to two squares, and they break away automatically. On a three, four, give all adjacent opposing characters an action token, and then on a five, six, opposing characters, deal opposing characters, uh, penetrating damage equal to the number of action tokens they have. And then, of course, the minus mm. six is get them, mm. nameless thugs, where I roll a d6 and generate that many uh, Joker Thug Bystanders. Minimum two. Mm. And the Joker it's Thug kind of Bystanders. A lot, though. That's kind of a lot. It can be. It sure can be. Uh, the Joker Thugs have Plasticity Toughness with a nine for two. Uh, they also have a trait. The Joker Thugs actions don't count against my action total, which is great. Wow. If I had, like, an Empower top dial on my team, and I do not. That is... That is everybody on my team, though. It's a lot of stuff. All right. Uh, Sumi's so got a lot of characters. And to be honest with you, a lot more mobility than I have. I don't have any flights on this team. I have no one to carry anyone in a 400-point game. We're just walking. So I'll start it off with the man himself. Hercules. Nah, nah, Hercules. Except this is not the, uh, the ginger Hercules that trained under uh, <laughs> Danny DeVito in the Disney. This is instead normal comic hercules he has Name a trait called phil. challenging right phil so, oh yeah sure the donkey man yeah what's phil uh challenge cosmic entities to a game free if hercules has zero or one action tokens choose an adjacent opposing character of 100 points or more both players each roll a d6 if hercules's result is equal or higher give the chosen character an action token otherwise give hercules an action token if the chosen character can use power cosmic, increase Herc's result by plus one. Pretty cool. He has the Space Chariot of Apollo for his special speed power on his top click, which is sidestep. Uh, hypersonic speed, but only once per game. Because uh, after that, we just crash the chariot yeah. into somebody. I don't it's, know. It's super lame because it doesn't allow you to use hypersonic. It's basically like full speed charge. Because if you back off, then you're mm -hmm. just stuck with sidestep for the rest of the game until you push yeah it's it pretty charge. rough it's rough uh he's my only character with indomitable also by the way <laughs> oh, nice. uh, next up is the starter set loki i did like this loki a lot he's got the mystics team ability which is huge he has one trait loki's treachery goes on at the beginning of the game give loki an illusion token when he would be ko'd remove the illusion token and turn him to click number one instead if he has an illusion token he can use colossal stamina and cannot be healed Pretty cool. So he's got 12 clicks of life, pretty much. He's got a long range. Pretty much. Eight range with two Yeah, rolls. eight range, double bolt, ten blast. Pretty nice. Next double up is out. Scourge. Scourge is my man. Seven range, two bolts, lot to lack, 
liked lot to like and laugh about Scourge, and there's gonna be some laughing, baby. Uh, he has a trait. I will stay behind, and the last laugh will be mine. Free once per game. Generate a last laugh marker in the square Scourge occupies. As long as Scourge occupies the square with the last laugh marker, he modifies his defense value plus two and takes a maximum of one damage from attacks and can't be moved or placed by opposing characters. Pretty cool. Mm. Pretty cool. He has a special damage power on the first six clicks of his life, which is just close combat expert and ranged combat expert, which is really nice. And then on his very end uh, click, he has stop free, deal scourge one unavoidable damage, and heal a friendly character uh, three clicks. So you're just, just pick, laughing. You're just going to pick one of these characters to take on my team, right? It's not going to be all uh, of them. <laughs> no, believe it or not, it's it's every single one. <laughs> Uh, and then we have um, a title character of my own, but in sort of a a worse formatted way for some reason. Uh, Loki, agent of Asgard. Look at him. He's got a sword. He starts with two plot points. His big uh, KO effect is that I cannot use defense powers until my next turn, I believe. Somewhere on here, it says that. But yeah. uh, it's kind of a lot. Yeah, well, okay. his character, characters can't use defense. Yeah, okay, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Can't use defense powers until your next turn, which is rough because I got uh, quite a, a lot of cool defense powers. But his plus one is manipulated by King Loki until your next turn. Opposing characters can't use perplex or probability control to target Loki, Agent of Asgard, or friendly characters within three squares of him. So that's pretty good. And then his negative zero, uh, it just makes basically means I can't add a plot point, but there is no subtracting them, which is cool. So it's uh, honest. I'm undercover for the all mother. At the beginning of your next turn, if no opposing character hit Loki, Agent of Asgard, uh, since you activated this, heal Loki, Agent of Asgard. So uh, two clicks. So this is his way to heal himself from taking damage from maybe using his plus ones or whatever. His negative six is Graham, the Sword of Truth. Opposing characters, 200 points or less, can't use defense powers. Sorry, adjacent opposing characters, 200 points or less, can't use defense powers. Pretty cool. Um... But yeah, that is my whole team. That's everything. It's whole shebang. I won map, so I get the privilege of kicking us off here. Let's go ahead. Let's have that starter Loki. He can phase up eight squares, which is nice. So sidestep Herc. I'll have him pick up that heavy object. Sidestep Scourge as well. No leadership on the team makes this ooh pretty rough. Well, we've got four actions. You just won't be able to do consecutive turns. Does Scourge get colossal stamina, or is it? Uh, he does not. Is it just Loki that's got? He's not a colossal stamina. Uh, yeah, it's just that comic. I guess they're all the comic versions. Just the yellow Loki that's got it. The Fast Forces Loki. Mm, better move up, Herc. Might as well. Just so that way he's up there. We're going to make this nice conga line with everybody, <laughs> I guess. All right. That's what I got, I suppose. Probably could have done something better, but here we I'm actually going to do uh, plus one on this uh, Loki Agent Asgard, so that way we can't be targeted by Perplex or probably Control uh, for him or other friendly characters within three squares, just to give him that plus one. And then he will take a damage. <laughs> you fool. Uh, let's mm. see. Ah, sadly, DC doesn't print anything with a range higher than six. So um, I think my turn is just going to be moving a bunch of people. I am going to free once per game, generate my balloon, and then I'll give the Harlequin a power action to hop inside said balloon. Let me double check here. do not have leadership so 
I will have to make sure that all these actions are good. So that's one action for Harlequin. I'm going to put her on the card. That makes way more sense. Uh, the balloon is going to sidestep two squares, carrying the joker. I think Kite Man is going to he can go eight squares, carrying these two people. Let's see. I don't know if I want to go too crazy. Uh, maybe make Calder work for this a little bit. I'll go there. Drop my mercenary there, and my cat man there. Uh, and then Queen B, she's just going to power action to make a B. So this is, mm. that's one, two, mm. three... That's three actions. Uh, so I generate a B. Then do I want to move the hot air balloon? Or do I want to move the B? B has seven speed. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll put the B right there. That seems fine. Uh, and that'll be hmm. my turn. Um, let me make sure no one's got sidestep. Nope, no one's got sidestep. That is all I can do this turn. Mm, very interesting. No one on my team uh, has will. Or sorry, not willpower. Well, a lot of them don't have willpower, but no one has leadership. Sadly, this has got to be one of the first thursday throwdown games i've played where i have zero leadership it's really rough it's really really rough so there is not a whole lot we can't do we're gonna do the negative zero for loki so if i don't get hit during this next turn at the beginning of my next turn i can heal up two clicks so i'm gonna activate that with loki i'm just gonna I'm just gonna damage him now because he ain't doing nothing this turn um and then let's go ahead uh, Herc can, of course, hypersonic. We try to smack some people around, I guess. Uh, one, two. Ten will get us to the Joker, I suppose. We could try to... Hmm. Uh, now he's got counter reflexes. Who has ESD? Was it... Oh, it's the... It's the she's, Harlequin. She's, she's in, in her balloon. balloon. Yeah. That's right. So Catman has, has reflexes. combat reflexes. There's really no of good all the person a for, balloon could have for Herc to hit right reflexes. now. I think Herc's going to sidestep to here. I think Scourge is going to sidestep behind Loki. And I think I just going to clear everybody. There's not a great opening currently. Hmm. I likewise don't have. Oh, I forgot my beacon sidestep. Uh, not that I would have moved it anywhere else, but. I could get into position to outwit Hercules. But I definitely don't have the speed to attack with anybody. Um. Man. This team, I have like a lot of like carrying stuff, but man, mm, there's not man. a lot of, uh, you know, doing of anything. I think I'm going to push Kite Man, hell yeah, to there. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. Look what we have here. Drop Cat Man there. And we'll drop. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go like that, and we'll drop the mercenary there. Mm. That'll be a second action for him. Uh, let's see, Queen B. Probably not worth pushing. Uh, let's sidestep my hot air balloon. One, two, carrying the Joker. 
Uh, let's see, carry it one, two, three. I can only carry three squares. I don't know why I was thinking four, because it's got four speed. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll go one, two, three, carrying the joker to there. And that'll be an action for the balloon. Hmm. And then I'm going to clear Queen B and the B drone. Because, okay. Very uh, nice. Yeah. Very Can't nice. Really do a whole lot. Um, beginning of my turn, Loki did not take damage, so he'll heal up uh, back to top dial ever so nicely. All of that, just so I could get uh, an extra plot point, I suppose. But here we are. Um, so Loki will do that. Did you activate? We definitely have one? plenty of cool Which one did stuff. you activate? I did. Zero? That's the oh, negative okay. zero. So he takes a damage. Oh. I thought he just he does, doesn't get anything for that one, right? It's uh, at the beginning of your next turn. If no opposing character hit Loki, Agent of Asgard, uh, since you activated this, heal him two clicks. I did that last turn. Oh, okay. You can rewind it if you want to. Listener at home, viewer at home is aware. All right, cool. I'm going to have Herc try to sidestep. I guess, uh, I don't know. Did, did you outwit anything on Hercules? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Joker's there. I, I could just, yeah, uh, you know, that would have been smart. hypersonic, try to smack some people around. One, two... Hypersonic all the way up to there and punch the queen bee. What is her attack power? Does she have pen blast? No, it's the oh, she's that weird control. mind control thing. I could hit her for a whole one damage. Uh, yeah, not in love with that. I'm just gonna try to hypersonic. I don't want to waste my hypersonic, but once again, it's also only on my first click, so I need to use it sooner rather than later, obviously. Um, but for right now, I think I'm just gonna try to sidestep breakaway, see if this works, and then I'll decide if I want a hypersonic or not. Uh, it failed. Uh. So with the sidestep failing, wasted my sidestep. Original plan here, guys, was to sidestep and then just throw the object at Joker. That's not going to work anymore. So I think we hypersonic and we... Hmm. I got an 11 attack. Huh? Huh? Uh, first of all, I'm going to activate Loki's number plus one plot point. So that way you cannot use prob or perplex to target anybody uh, within three squares of Loki or Loki himself, which is oh, cool. No, not that you oh, have any prob, prob or perplex, perplex I, I think, on your team. <laughs> uh, we're going to do it anyway. Um, and let's have Hercules try to hypersonic break away. Hercules, no, no. There's the four. We needed last time. Where is Herc gonna move? Uh, without ignoring, well, he's gonna ignore characters for hypersonic, but uh, without ignoring uh, hindering and all sorts of stuff. I think uh, is it once per game she makes that balloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, geez, and the balloons. Never mind. Never That's mind. I don't know if I want to. Combat reflexes. <laughs> it's a balloon. Jeez, yikes! Yeah. Can't do that. Uh, Herc will die. He has range at all, Hercules. He has zero range. Of course he does. Let's... I, I'm going to be so mad. I'm just going to... I'm going to punk this stupid... <laughs> no! <laughs> mercenary. <laughs> what a waste. What a waste. I was going to like actually try to save that person for the end and be like, haha, give up. But <laughs> there's no better target for Herc to try to punch right now. And he'll miss anyways. Herc will miss. That'll hit a 16. Oof. What a hypersonic. Uh, to break away from the mercenary, you need to roll anything but a one. Uh, there's our three. Over here, we only move two squares. Move Herc to there. Plink. Give him one of those. Give him one of those guys. Let's see. Uh, we can move there. And just get the last laughs started, I suppose. That's always the dangerous thing about him. 
uh, so you don't want to spend the last laugh too soon. Don't want to keep it too far away. So yeah, I think we sidestep one. Hmm. I'd like to get at least to there, but we have seven range. So let's see. We sidestep to there. You can attack a whole whole bunch of folks. Or just here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, if we go there. Yeah, we can see Joker. Sure. Let's uh Yeah, let's plop him down there. I think I think we last laugh Scourge now, sooner rather than later. And then we ranged combat expert all into attack against the Joker. No. Twelve. On an 18. Need that six that we rolled last time. Ah, there it is. There's that six for three whole damage. One, two, three. All right, it's so a token on Scourge. Change. It looks like shape change, but I don't think that's what it is. Uh, that is probability control. You have probability Mastermind. control. Mastermind. Ooh. Yes. Wait, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's... uh. This Loki can't see anybody. That Loki does need to make an attack, so he'll punch Kite Man. Because mm. I've only got a 10. I've only got a 10. Not my. I've rolled two sixes so far. I need to roll seven. Hey, there's my third six of the game, or the turn here, technically also of the game. Cool. Well, all I need to do is make an attack. I didn't have to attack, which well, is nice. Hits. I've only got a 16. Do you only have a 16? Oh, never mind. That'll hit for three. If I do, it's still a 17. I guess you did push him. Yeah. Cool. First blood, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, very cool. Next up, I'm going to have this other guy. He is going to... He's going to phase. This Loki's going to phase. What's his range against? Eight. On two... I think we're just going to phase into here. Mm. And it is your go, Simeon. It's your go. All right. Your, uh, your title, Loki, has combat reflexes right now. Is that what that color is? He does. He okay. does, yeah. Sweet. Um, how do I want to do this? Joker's on clear four. That is fine. Let's go. Let's see. I don't think I can really sidestep anywhere. I can't really do a whole lot of anything this turn. Yeah, no range. Um, yeah, we'll just have... We'll have the B drone carry. Wow, that's mm. showing poison and super senses. These are swarms. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, these are swarms so, bees. Those um, are swarms bees because you see swarm in the background. They yeah. use, use the same thing. But the thing on her card is probably what her bees actually are. Yeah. I imagine. I just now saw that. Uh, yeah, the nine attack, mm -hmm. 15 defense. Yeah. Um, Let's see, it's got sidestep, seven speed, so it's going to carry Joker. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six to here. Mm -hmm. And I'll give him an action token, my little B. Uh, Joker is going to, let's see. Do nothing. Or, yes, no, he's got plot points. Never mind. Yeah. He's got plenty of stuff to do. Yeah, he's got plot points. Uh, he's going to do a plus one acid flower. Free deal one damage to each adjacent opposing character, which is just Loki. All right, so we'll deal one to Loki here. Whoops. Wrong button. 
All right, that makes him slightly easier to hit. Um, now, do I want to that break away Catman? Do I want to attempt to break away Catman? <laughs> how was how was Loki's plot thing that you activated worded? I can't use prob or perplex to target you, or just at all with uh, to target him or opposing characters or for, sorry or friendly characters in three squares. So you can prob okay. your own attacks. You just can't prob. Loki or my friendly guys within three of me. Uh -huh. All right. I think. Um, that's not really going to help me. I would need a lot or a lot more. Uh, let's just have Catman just try and blades Loki. So it's a 10 to gotcha. a 19. Mm. Mm. That is a miss. I don't have any other attacks really going Close, on, so but no cigar. I'm gonna prob it with the Joker. Mmm. Still no. a seven again. Let's sidestep my hot air balloon to here. Hmm. Actually, where was it? We'll go one, two, one, two. We'll sidestep it down to there. That's fine. Um, then all I've got is my queen bee with her six range. So she can go five squares with her running shot. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I could get like one of these squares if I wanted to. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I might actually be able to see Scourge from there. Uh, she's just going to... One, two, three, four. She'll running shot to here. Yeah, there's no way I can see anyone else. Um, so we're just going to go for damage. We're not going to use my mind control on this one. <coughs> All right, shape change on Loki. Ah, za, we did it, boys. Big six, big six. And Catman needs a action token. Uh, let's see. sidestep my balloon. I can sidestep my B. So I'll, I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to try and sidestep my B away from Loki. Alright, I don't have plasticity or anything, so go for it. It's just going to go 1, 2 to there. And I will clear my balloon. Mm. And mm. that is all that I clear. Uh, Joker will take a damage. And mm -hmm. that is your go. All right. Yep, cool. Let's see. Not a lot to do, ladies and gents. Not a lot to do. I think Cat Catman is still very annoying. Very much very annoying. This Loki. Uh, I think he's going to take a shot on Queen B. Uh, 11 to her 18. He's going to try to pen blast her. going to push to do so. And there's a four. Mm. Hey, cool. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Loki. A four, surprisingly. Appreciate it, bud. Right. Mm. Who to thunk? Who to thunk? Uh, we have sidestep with Hercules. Hercules. Um, cool. We can do that. We can try to do something. I think we're going to do sidestep with Herc first. Uh, gonna try to punch Catman. 11 to the 17 combat reflexes. Mm. See if we can roll an 8. Uh, not believing in my dice a lot. Uh, pardon me. Uh, there's a 3. A three. <laughs> it's going down. Cool. Uh, so we're getting we're getting Alder, lower, baby. Will damage we're hate. getting lower. Get that out. Oh, man. Tabletop Catman. simulator. I... Oh, did I put it on someone else? My bad. Goes on Herc. Goes on Herc. Uh, didn't say I was using super strength. Didn't intend to, so that's good. 
Uh, Loki, he's going to take a damage anyways because I'm going to activate my plus zero at my beginning of my next turn. If I didn't get hit with an attack since my last turn, whatever, I'll heal two clicks. So I'm going to push uh, so that way I can at least make an attack. We're going to go for the 19. Need a nine against Kiteman. No, actually, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, no, yeah, I am on just click two. So it is just a a nine I need to roll. Ugh. Need my dice. Tabletop Simulator has been treating me the way it normally has. Uh, I can tell it. Uh, she really missed me, boys. Uh, she really did. Uh, and see what we roll. Come on. Give me that sweet, sweet nine. Give me something. There's a six. I have not rolled above a seven this whole game in case uh, anyone's keeping track at home. <laughs> Just so you know. I was. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll deal Loki a damage and Wowzer. Uh clear scourge and it's your go goodness gracious that's awful mm. that is awful a fan well i'm really a fan since i've survived everything thus far i actually have a few options Jeez. uh <laughs> i'm going to do jokers plus one again to deal mm -hmm. uh loki one damage i'm at five We'll see if I can unleash an army of bystanders. Um, still combat reflexes, huh? Um, mm -hmm. Joker might as well, since he's sitting right there. He will attempt to punch Loki. Uh, mm -hmm. I could sidestep, deal one to Hercules. But I don't think I even want him to have charge. So, yeah, we'll just attempt 11 on a 19. I need an 8. Okay. So we're assuming he rolls like a crit hit or something just because. Ah, but there is the 8. Goodness gracious. Loki's probably dead this turn. Uh, How much is that? For 3? Yeah, for 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3. So I will not be able to heal next turn, which is rough. He does have willpower now, but... At least it's only an 18 now. Uh, yes. A nine attack. I think I can like sidestep my balloon and then power action the balloon to drop uh, the Harlequin. I don't think mm. that's a super awesome deal, but it's something that I can indeed do. Mm. Uh, alternatively, I could try and sidestep the Joker away from Loki and then sidestep the balloon to attack. Let's try that first. Um, Joker will attempt to sidestep. Ah. Now I have to figure out where's a good spot. I'll just go right there. And then my hot air balloon will sidestep here. It's going to copy the attack power. Not that that really matters but I can't copy anything else. So we'll copy the attack power, which is Quake, and then the combat values of Harlequin, which is a 10 for 2, zero range still. Uh, so might have been a smarter idea to have the mercenary pilot the balloon. Um, yeah, hot air balloon punching Loki. I need an 8. Again. Hey, doubles... That's more like it, at least. He will not heal, but at least you can potentially survive. Uh, Catman. That's my other option. Meow. Secret Meow. third option is the bee drone sidestepping and pushing to death. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I can get there. I think I can see Scourge and... Let's see how this is worded. My mind control. Uh, when I use it, I have... I have three targets, and I can also target all opposing characters. Okay, so it's if I target Hercules, all those people are going to get targeted anyhow. 
You'll get uh, Scourge and Loki, yeah. Yeah, we might as well attempt to do that. So Queen B is going to push to fly one, two, three, four, five running shot mind control to there. And we will mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we're just gonna target Hercules, but then Loki and Scourge both become targeted, so it's an 18, 18, and 20. All right, so. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I believe in you, B lady. I don't remember what her name is. B queen, yeah. Huh. Ah. That was a good roll. I like that roll. Sure. If it didn't look. If it didn't look super cocked on your end, I could barely see it. But like, you want to uh, go the, for it. The go three for was it. kind of resting on the B drone. Uh, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. It's like it's already a really bad game for me, so I'm, I'm gonna allow it. <laughs> All right. It's scourge. Uh, if it would have hit scourge, I would have been like, "No, nah, you can't do that." But only because it doesn't hit scourge will I be like, "Yeah, it's fine." Let's see. Joker's done something. Is there a good place to move Loki? One, two, three, four, five. Not really. Um, And I'd have to crit hit either of your other characters to do anything, so that's kind of awful. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I could go there. Hercules would then have to break away, which is... Yeah, let's have, let's have Loki swing at Hercules. Need to crit hit to deal damage. Oh, boy. That's a three, so it does hit. It just deals no damage. Um, I think I'm going to move him. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm going to leave him right there. And then Hercules will try and punch Loki. Yeah, now mm -hmm. I only need a seven. Needs a seven. Yeah, Crit a lot better. you say. Oh, it is, it is right on the seven, though. It is right on the seven, which we'll get rid of. Rid of Loki is going to get rid of all of our uh, defense powers until my next turn. Um, I'm actually okay with where Hercules is. I don't think there's a reason to try and move him. That's one, two, three actions... I guess I could try and move him and shoot him with mercenary. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can move quite a ways. Yeah, let's attempt to break away with Hercules. We'll see what we get okay. with that. Nothing. Okay. So your your characters belong to you once again, sadly. Uh, ah, Zah. I will sidestep my B drone. One, two, to there. And Catman's going to attempt to blades Hercules. And roll in some good eights, I believe, in my. Oh boy. Here we go. This is going to be rough. Mm, I hate that. Gotta say, not a fan. Not a big fan of that. Let's see what Blake Yikes. say. My team is, is kind of getting swindled here, guys. Hercules is going to oh, catch boy. some cat scratch fever. Oh, uh, please be low. Gosh, no! Oh, uh, Lord. Herc takes five straight through. One, two, three, four, five. He's alive. Goodness gracious. I just realized that didn't Hercules. matter because uh, Catman had exploit so i i didn't need your 
in Volga oh that's true now. that's true um but that's still awful i feel bad for dang kirk's gonna man, drop that the objects uh, b drone's gonna clear and that is my entire turn you may now go yikes that was a pretty that was a pretty awful turn for me Ooh man that was really uh, a shite turn as they would say oh that was bad that was really rough I think we're going to range combat expert one into each being 11 for four. We're going to shoot the uh, B lady. Hmm. See where that gets us. Try to deal her two damage. Maybe roll doubles. Maybe punch her into the thing. I don't think that'll work. Uh, if we would have went all into attack, probably would have hit. Is it a 17? Yeah, 6, 11. 17. That's it. Oh, nice. Nice. We'll deal her two. Scourge has been the only consistent person to make attacks. That's cool. That's a very cool, very cash money. Thank you, Mr. Scourge. Okay. She takes two. Scourge already gave him a token. He really is going to be freaking last man standing here. This is going to be bad. It's going to be rough. This is a little bit of bad news. Bears going on here. Not a big fan of it. Can't do anything with Herc. Herc has charge. No more sidestep. I think... We're going to have to clear Herc and Loki, as awful as that is. Um, yeah, there's not much for me to follow up. I don't have a lot of figures on my team. Pretty, It's pretty rough, guys. Uh, I went into this not like super confident. I always know how these matches go. If I think if I think I might win, I'm probably going to lose. And Simeon was trying to talk up some was... game like that I was going to win this. <laughs> I was he was like, oh, I was... for you. Uh, Scourge and, alone um, is like a... a... A powerhouse. I don't know if I'll be able to get through Scourge, but yeah, I did not expect but to get. As, as we lucky. know in Hero Flicks, uh, dice rolls. It's all about dice. It doesn't matter what figures are on the, on the board. Very true. Um, uh, all right, but yeah, that's my turn. It's your go. That's all I got. I doubt that Hercules loses toughness. I don't have an outwit, so there's no way for Joker to deal him any damage. Um, at least with his with his trait thing. Let's see here. Don't really want to push him again because I don't have Indom. Mm. Uh, that would put me on stealth though, which I don't know what that's even worth. So I think I'm gonna hold off on doing anything with the Joker for now. Uh, we will sidestep hot air balloon to here and it does have willpower oh joyce joy i'm gonna copy that Gosh. quake and yeah we'll copy the quake and the attack value slash damage value of harlequin and we'll just attempt to no. quake oh, no. deal the same damage either way yeah. so i need a crit to hit scourge but I only need a six to hit uh, Hercules. Yeah, it's, it's low. It's very low. Oh, so close. It's out of it. Ooh, I'm not in love with where we are right now, fellas. Um, not in love. Let's see. I really don't have a lot of other options because I've got so many people that are double tokened. Let's sidestep the B drone. B drone has two blades because it's only got one damage. So it'll be a blades nine into a 20. So I need an 11, which is higher than my last roll. And that won't. That would have been. That would have been an 11 or a 12. I, I might have flipped this table, which is the nice thing about uh, Tabletop Simulator. It's true. Uh, I carefree rage can just go about its day. Catman clears. Joker clears. Queen B also clears. I hate all of this. All of this is so bad. Ugh, I hate it so much. I think Loki, if he still has phasing uh, on click two, he does. Even on click two? Yeah, on click three. He's on click two. Okay, yeah. I think he phases mm, to here. To try to handle a lot of the problem. The only okay, well, maybe we don't do that actually. I'm not a big fan of all this jazz. Um, man, I wish he had something cool. In phase eight, kind of just want to put him 
all up in the business. Just so he's there, uh, to be honest with you. But I think we phased here instead. Mm. And I think we go with that. The token. Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll move him there. We're going to clear Scourge because he doesn't have willpower. Don't want to risk anything. And we'll say it is your go. Okay. Hot Air Balloon's got two action tokens. B-Drone has one. We are going to sidestep the Joker to here. We're going to deal Loki one free damage. Give mm -hmm. me up to six plot points. And then the Joker is going to attempt to punch him. Um, I just realized, yeah, if you make... You still have shape change. If you make your shape change roll, then I still take an unavoidable. So, which is nice. Probably what I'd prefer to have happen right now. Up oh, to one. Well, here we are. You do get to make an attack. A four. <laughs> okay. Does not uh, hit. That's fine. As long as I don't take the extra damage, I'm okay with that. Uh, I think. B Queen is going to, of course, generate another B. Which I didn't make copies of those. So, not that it matters because they're not even the right. They're not even the right Bs. So, yeah, they're just sort of things, placeholder. We will go with one B here. And it's going to walk. Uh, it's actually just going to sidestep to there. Um,. Catman will attempt to blades Loki as well. Well, not as okay. well, just by himself. As long as you don't roll shape change. I'm feeling confident. Oh, that's Maybe. right. I do I do get a shape change. Okay. Oh, it's a four, so it's a no go. I mean he can roll a crit miss. That'd be very nice for me. Or another something real low. Ah, oh, that is a six. That is a magic number he needs to hit Loki to potentially just uh, annihilate him. Catman, two damage, which is what I have for him. Ah, two damage. Not bad. I am just, I am oddly okay with that. Full wave everybody now. Um, <laughs> I think that's the plan. Yeah, I don't think I can really do a whole lot. Uh, I could try and sidestep my B. I'm going to try and sidestep my B. Maybe get you off of that. Mm. Probably not. A three will not work. Uh, I will clear my B. Clear mm. my hot air balloon. I will. Yeah, uh, right now, Loki sees. As usual. Sees everybody with pulse wave. I would probably prefer uh, to crit hit this pulse wave. That would be my 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 true want. To be honest with you, uh, let's do it. A crit miss, you say? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, that'll hit everybody, 19. but scourge perfectly. No, it'll perfect, hit scourge perfect, as well. perfect, perfect. It will not. He's only got an eight. Oh no! Wait, yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He has an eighteen. It would have been it would have been a twenty, but no. Yeah, he will take one. I'm okay with that. Oddly enough. Uh, That'll take yeah. out both B drones. That'll deal one to uh, Loki will take one because he pushed. One to Cat Man. My mercenary is finally off of uh, stealth. Uh, I have to roll for my vehicle. It's a three. Do I take? How much damage do I take when the vehicle explodes? I think it's just one when it's a low number, isn't it? I do not remember. Or did you want a high number? I don't remember at all. So Harley Quinn's taking a cool two damage. One, two. The first and only damage she's taken. What does she have now? That looks like a weird color. Well, I think we're definitely going to close combat expert all into attack with Scourge against her. So he'll be at 12 for three. I have willpower. Nope, that's mastermind. Okay. I'll 
probably just let her take it. Because... Uh, wow, it's a nine. Yeah. What a what a roll. Catman's been much better to me this year than Harlequin was. So. And I think I'm gonna call my turn there with all my illustrious, beautiful, amazing actions. And it is your go. Okay. Hmm. Well, I finally have sidestep with my mercenary. Oh, did I? I don't think I clicked uh, Queen Bee. Okay. Um, mercenary is going to sidestep one, two, and range combat expert. Let's see. Loki doesn't have any rollouts, and he's on click six. No. I'm sure that's like one of his last yep. clicks. So we'll go one and one mm -hmm. just to make sure I deal enough damage. Um, of course, this won't kill him, but he'll at least get rid or of Or roll that big five. Yeah. The big five. Ooh. That is a okay, you got it. That will two hold would be KO'd. So I don't clear tokens. I just remove my whatever here. And I turn them to click one. All right. Queen B lost her. Cool. Her super cool power that let her do stuff. Oh no, that's a trait that makes me that lets me generate. Um, I did lose my cool. Uh, what you call it though? Oh, her. She's gonna sidestep to there, and I will go ahead and push her to generate another B. Bzz, 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 bzz. And I have Scourge so One, screaming like uh oh, geez. What what's his name? Uh Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Gosh. Wow. It is slightly inconvenient for me. These bees don't care for him at all. Uh so I'm gonna generate the bee there. Bee's gonna attempt to blades you. Mm. It needs a ten. No longer needs an 11. Mm. So I do have a chance. Aha, take that, mercenary. A 9. Super close. Wow. Mercenary needs to take a Mystic's damage as well, by the way. Uh, yeah. I forgot all about that. Uh, that's one, two, three actions. Ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> I think Joker's got to punch you. Yeah, Joker's going to attempt to punch Loki. Okay, big big shape change on Loki. See if he makes it. That's... Ooh, that's a five. Very nice. Let's see. Oh, uh, no I'm attacks still... for Joker this round. I'm still going to... Let's see, what click is he on? It's on six. Yeah, I'm still going to activate my minus six plot ability. Mm. Cause otherwise You're I'm gonna push him and gonna let him take a damage from from that. Ah, that's a lot of damage. Joker right. taking two free damage in one turn is pretty I will, nice. I will not do that. Although I can hear the the fear in your voice, so I, I am excited that I will get to do it at some point. Hey, <laughs> I guess uh, I'm not a fan. I do not want, obviously, uh, I don't want all those thugs coming out. Hopefully, he obviously rolls a one or two, and I'm, I'm mostly fine. But it, on the off chance he rolls a six, and I've got to chew through all of that, no thank you. Just no thank you. I will have to. Not with the way my dice have been this whole game. Just awful. Man. Or not yeah. Man. Catman. Catman is the one that I have, yes. The Joker uh, push for punching, not punching Loki. Yes. Uh, let's see. Catman's clear. Loki sadly needs to clear, and sadly this other guy should clear as well. So, uh, yeah. As much as I want to, I want to be, I want to be top dial, or we could go for a big hit, punch Joker. Maybe he masterminds it to Kite Man or Catman or whatever would be nice. And we'll still be where we are. 
I think we'll do that. Loki will... No, wait, I don't have Colossal Stamina anymore, so I'm not going to do that. Nope. Bup, bup. Clear Loki. Yeah. Clear Scourge. That's all it is. I don't know. All that talk for nothing. Here we are. Here we go. Okay. Um, uh, Can't do a whole lot this turn. Most of my people are actioned up. Mercenary's on her last click. Uh, Let's just... We'll go ahead and push mercenary. Uh, I still have sidestep. I'm just gonna sidestep mercenary to here for now. Um, I'll hmm. give Catman an action to attempt to blades. No precision strike Loki for two damage. Oh wait, I've got empower, okay. so it'll be three here we go. Damage. See shape change for Loki. Oh, shape change for Loki. Ah. Uh. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been waiting for. I will attempt to sidestep my B drone. Mm. It will oh. stay where it is. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. So, clear my mercenary. Clear Joker. Queen B. And B drone. All right. Trying to see how worth it it may be. We do that. Get rid of you. Punch you. Uh, to get rid of uh, Catman this turn. Because a lot of people going on. B-Girl is on click. Uh, five, which is probably pretty unscary. Okay. Because it would be nice. It would be nice. Sidestep. We go to there. We shoot there. Loki punches there. And it's a lot less, a lot, lot, lot less to worry about. All right, let's just see if we make the sidestep first with Scourge, and then we'll worry about it from, from that point. <gasps> Scourge is going to take off of his last... Uh, nope. No, he's not. He's yeah. going to stay there. Yes, Got a three. Got so he's going to close combat expert all into attack against the B. A crit miss, you this is where I'll waste my crit hit. Uh, no, this is a nine, though. Pretty wild and pretty high. Cool, and then Loki will punch the Joker. Hmm. Uh, that Eleven hit. says that will hit. Which is um, cool. He's dealing three. Let's just let my mercenary take it. You guys, mercenary. Will you think it's like, man, that's rough. But uh, if I would have hit that hypersonic speed with Hercules earlier in the game and killed that mercenary. <laughs> This is this would be a different game right now. Catman would be out of here. It's true. You say that, but uh, yeah, that's all I can do. It's your go, man. All right. Um, I'm gonna push Catman. Hmm? Yeah. First things first. I'm gonna push Catman to try and precision strike the Loki. See if we can keep getting these shape changes, guys. I really, I really like these. Oh, baby, a five. That's what I'm talking about. I will attempt oh, yeah. to sidestep the cat, man. Oh, baby. That will hit. Loki's got no sidestep plasticity of any kind. Back one square. <laughs> um, I am going to activate the minus six. Okay. So yeah, this is, this is what I've been dreading. The other... Uh... Ugh. Whether Joker hits or Ooh, all these bystanders, we'll have some bystanders. It's trash. Minimum two. Yeah. Mm, please be low. Three. Oh, okay. Mm. Middle of the road. That's fine. I'm okay so, with that. I'm not as annoyed by the possibilities of what could have happened. These guys have. It's over Still, here. though, autonomous actions are pretty rough right now for me. Yeah. Nine for two. Does it say how I have to position them? Uh, generate. 
equal to the result minimum two into squares within three squares so I don't have to have line of fire. I'm still gonna put one here and one here. Um, and then my third one, we'll just go right there. Mm -hmm. So that was a free action. Crash. Joke I right. hate that. So I'm at one action, one costed action so far. Uh, we'll have this one attempt to punch Loki first. Nine yeah. on and Shape 17. Change. Flop down. Try to roll the dice. Oh, baby, if I we're gonna keep making shape changes. That's what I'm talking about. This one, even though I wouldn't mind those guys hitting me. Punch Loki. Like, really, I, I want Joker to to try to target me and then get hit. That's cocked. I want Joker to like try to hit me and then whatever. That oh, just plopped okay. down. Let's make it roll. No, let's make it roll. Let's make it roll. I said. Here we go. That one can attack. All right. I need an eight to deal three damage. Not terrible with that. Yeah, some power. Very nice. Yeah. That'll miss by one, though. Close. And then my last one's going to try and punch him as well. All right. Just trying to get him off the double rollout. Dupe. I can roll that again if you want me to, but... I don't care. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, mm. Need an eight. I'll let it be. That's a six. Mm. Really not... Uh... Not super vibing with what's going on here. I'm gonna sidestep one, two, with B Queen. She's gonna close combat expert. Let's go. Oh baby. Let's go all into attack. I don't really care how much damage I deal. I just need okay. to hit. Especially with the. I just need to get him off the double rollout. Is all. All right. Oh, yeah, shape change. Going for Loki. I thought you were going for Scourger for a second. All right, going for Loki. Shape change. Why does it just do that? I have momentum dice. All right, go for it. All right, 12 into a 17. I need a 5 now. I hope that's not too much to ask. Is this, is this uh, Simeon's crit miss? Hmm. Oh, baby, it's a 4! Sure, oh, baby! Sure like um... Oh, now the Joker, and this is where I get my six on shape change, and he dies. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, That's what I've really... been waiting for. Yeah. Joker does have to attack, so that's only one, two costed actions towards my total. Yeah. So, yeah, Joker has to attempt it now. Come on, baby. Or the Let's Joker get this shape change. Let's get this shape change, please. Ah, uh, nope. A, all right. So he does get to make an attack, sadly. Where, that sucks. Yeah, this is where my low rolls cost me, and now I'm going to roll too high. I guess he's going to take a Mystics anyways. That'll miss by one. Actually. Oh, that'll miss. Never mind. Yeah, Here so we that's are. what I wanted, but I... <laughs> yeah. I was hoping I didn't mm -hmm. have to go that far, but yeah, the, apparently I can get a little lucky there. Catman did something. Everyone did something All this right. turn, so mm -hmm. I have nothing left. Cool. Well, Loki's sure is adjacent to a lot of folks. Um, I don't want to push him because he's got double rollouts right now. Third, I don't really want to push either. So I'm going to clear them both. I'm going to keep my health. Stay in good health, I shall. Because otherwise, it means he's got to push all his dudes and they just all die. So, I think I'm mostly fine. I am going to push my queen bee, I believe. She's on click five. That's pretty um, legit. That's a pretty fair push, I would say. I don't know if I want to make a bee drone. I feel like it's a much better idea to use my close combat expert again. So we're going to do that. We're going to push her close combat expert. 
Let's go. Scourge is a 19. I'd rather not deal with him until last. Mm -hmm. So let's go all into damage against Loki. So I will okay. need a 7 if he misses his rollouts. Okay. That is a shape change. You can go for Scourge. Oh, that's true. I did go all you in. You need a 9. So. Yeah. Yeah. A 7. No. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to clear everybody. And that's all I've got. Sweet. Sweet. So, Scourge will now close combat experts. She's a 17. She have toughness. Uh, she has a mastermind in still. now. Mastermind. Ah, jeez. Yeah, I pushed her. So back. inconvenient. Uh, Scourge is close combat expert all into attack, I guess, against the Queen Bee. Uh, and by that, I mean technically against a Joker thug or whatever. Uh, that will hit. Yes, I will take out this one. I'll put it back Inconvenient for me. Uh, and then Loki. Doesn't really matter because the Joker also just has a mastermind. But he is mastermind is easier to hit. So Loki will go ahead and try to swing against the Joker. Okay. 7 to 16, need a 5. Sort of mitigate how many actions you get to take this next. Ah, ah, jeez. I I knew you we had really it in you. Don't need that. We really that. don't need that. We really don't need that, Loki. We so don't need that. All right, there it is. Now give me a crit hit. Oh, well, there's a token for Loki. I'd prefer if Bonk, it made and it is your go. First. Um, oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Tabletop Simulator really does hate me, man. This I is trash. Trash. The crit dan or the penetrating uh, the mystics damage. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't really want to do that super bad. Uh, I'm going to try and sidestep Queen Bee first. Mm. She gets it. She will. She does get it. Let's see. We'll go one, two to there. I'm going to... Mm, how much do I trust Catman's? What does he have right now? Is that a double rollout? Is he a man or is he a no, cat? He has prob now. Some kind of both. Why did I not notice that before? Um, there's nowhere for me to get to adjacent to Joker and Loki without moving one of my dudes. Let's before we do anything with Catman. Let's uh, have my Joker thug here try and punch Loki. I guess I'll let you roll shape change. Okay. Will you? Will you so graciously let me roll my power that I have? Yes. Uh, stop plopping down dice. Roll. A three. Okay. Three. So they're still nines, but they can pack three damage if they do hit. So I need an eight. Ah, uh, just see that. You gotta be kidding me. Over. Super senses. Let's try it. Uh, two. For so three. it dies. I think three. One, two, three. It's rough. And Although quick five is also a double rollout click, which is nice. Now Catman will sidestep one, two. And he will attempt to precision strike you. Also a nine for three. Hmm. Shape change fails again. This is where I would need a crit hit. That would be really nice. Not a crit hit. Still rolls an 8, though. For goodness sake, rolls an, rolling a 10. This is garbage. Uh, that's a 6 for shape change, so go die. Ah, darn it. Uh, does he really have position strike? Yeah, I guess he does. All right, well, he'll take a whatever, and Loki will die. So Catman. Now on his regeneration click oh uh, okay i want to use a word that we've had to bleep out before on this show not really even not that we even cared this bothers me greatly incredibly so i'm going to move my joker thug here and 
I hate you. I dislike you incredibly. I had one Joker. Th oh, my Joker thug actions don't count against my action total, so I'm still good to do. I find no qualities about you to be stuff. positive uh, in any any fashion or light. I'll also move Joker here. That seems safe. Oh wow! Really appreciate it, there, boss. And uh, that's. Oh, I'm using the other action token. I will clear Queen B. And Calder now has some very interesting choices to make. I still Quite don't honestly, think I can take Scourge out. I still I feel 16. like... They're trying to make me chew through a lot. Uh, I want to sidestep and I want to shoot both of you. If I can. Because you got nothing to try to do nothing next turn. So I'm going to try to sidestep. Ah. It is a one, so instead I will clear. Let's see. Flippity blue, because I like being on click two. It's very nice for me. See, sadly, Joker has only two damage, so I have no way of hitting mm -hmm. Joker. Uh, Queen yeah. B can't get there, but what she can do is sidestep to here and make a B drone. And then my B drone can sidestep. And it's got a 9. It needs. It only needs a 10 to blades you. Mm -hmm. A crit hit, you say. Ah, that's an 8. That is really close, though. Thank goodness. Uh, Good lord. Good lord. Yeah, Joker has no need to do anything. Catman could push to regen. <laughs> I'm just going to clear these guys, though. I don't even know if pushing to regen works anymore. I think you take the unavoidable first, so I don't even think that's a thing. All right. It very well might not be. All right. Um, I'm going to try the sidestep thing again. So many options. I think now. that's cool. Yeah. If I roll a six, I'll do it. That's another one. Uh, I'm just going to close combat expert all into attack against Joker. Hmm. Uh, that'll hit. Let's see. They're both nines. Um, Which useless pog to KO first? The one with the action token. So the B drone is. Yeah, gonna, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> And she doesn't have willpower, so uh, I'm gonna move Catman to here, and I think Joker will do plus one and try and punch Scourge. Doesn't matter if he hits or not. He does hit. No, he doesn't. Okay. And did I already try and attack with my Joker Thug? I think I did. I have one plot point, and then I clear Queen B. Uh, I'm going to clear Scourge. Okay, let's here you go. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Catman has prob. Should have done that. Let's sidestep Queen B to here and close combat expert. Uh, let's just go all into attack. So I only need a seven for this one. There we go. That'll be old two. Oh, jeez. Empower. Now, okay. Joker can plus one. And deal you one damage. You can, which is very inconvenient for me. And then I don't really want to push Joker. I'll push Catman. Oh wait, you're still plus two. 
18. I need a 9. I think I can do it. I need a 9 for 3. Oh, wait. It's not going to do any more damage than that. No, I'm just going to clear everybody. Alright. Except Joker. Cool. The... Joker did attack, I think. Did Joker attack? Or does he just did die? not attack. Okay. He just dies for activating that. Cool. So now everybody deals one penetrating damage to each other. Yeah. So just the queen bee takes one, and then that guy dies. At the beginning of my next turn. Oh, yeah. I mean your next turn. Oh, very cool. So uh, I guess uh, we'll click is she on six. She probably has right at seven. So we'll just close combat expert on to attack against the cat guy. What click are we on? 10 attack, need 12, sure. Mm. The cat ah, very cool. will prob that. Yes. Of course. Of course he has probability control down at the top. Very neat cat guy. Uh, there's my 11. Definitely. Almost a almost a crit hit, except for Simeon's uh, trash in the way. Scourge. Okay. So cool. Queen B takes a damage. Joker Thug dies. She has to clear. Because there's... Yeah, there's... Uh, no cool. Dies. Scourge gets to close combat expert all into attack. That wow, eight. It. That's all she had. Cool. What a what an awfully long, hard fought game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh I won and I wanted to do that. Anyways, uh you guys gotta start. No more pog generators. Period. Uh just none. That's uh, not a rule. I already had to deal with the devil that I had to deal with the devil dinosaur. I had to deal with this awful Joker guy. Um, and no more voting for bad figures. All right. When I get a good set, give me good figures. All right. Anyways, uh, that has been, uh, <laughs> let's just say this again. Another epic golden age brawl has come to a close reminder. You can vote for what figures we use on our teams on Facebook, Twitter, discord, and the comment section of this video. Make sure to like comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed it, support us on Patreon and all that jazz. If you want to. Uh, next week, Simeon is going to build from X-Men, Xavier School, and Calder, that's me, is going to build from Avengers Infinity. Cool stuff. Cool stuff in those sets. Real neat stuff. There was the title character, Captain America, from AI, which I've always had fun playing. Uh, another great figure was, like, Living Tribunal. Lots of fun. Uh, let's not do crazy high point games, mostly because the AI stuff can go crazy high and the XXS stuff can't. So yeah, not unless that'd be a bit nutty. Every figure, Living a Tribunal, million Moira Mac like fourteen hundred top dial. But I mean, I guess yeah. Play not that I think anyone's going to go the for one hundred or something. But... He's like yeah, hundred yeah. or two fifty or something like that. Yeah, but yeah, fun stuff in those sets. I know I really, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of like what I actually played a lot of from AI. But honestly, I didn't like that set that much. I probably played that Groot the most, yeah, just as a twenty point so filler good. on teams. Yeah, even, even like uh, higher point, like that Groot was pretty good. Because but he did honestly, nice. I probably don't want to play that Groot. I've always wanted to play the Guardians of the Galaxy from that set and be an unoutwit proof whatever theme the, team. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, I guess the Bearers of the Gems were like a really fun squad. They weren't like amazing. Uh, like, I never Max played. Had, like Power Gem, Gamora had Time Gem. It was a pretty decent like little squad that they had. And then from XXS, That's pretty neat. there's the whole headmaster thing. Probably not going to do any ID cards because that would be one-sided and Calder wouldn't have any. Uh, but the headmasters is still a really strong strong trait without that. Yeah, um, super good. That rare Professor X that can move everyone within eight squares but can't make him attack when he uses mind control is really sweet. It's one of my favorite characters from the set. Uh, the apocalypse chases are really cool. Except Cyclops. Yeah, it's like it's just the worst. But Cyclops is the worst in everything. Everybody hates Cyclops. Come on. I like. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh yeah, that is probably my favorite figure from that set. 
Uh, I almost won a WKO with that angel. That was super fun. Exploding angel was great. Yeah, it's probably my favorite figure from that set, to be honest with you. That or like, uh... no, probably just that. Maybe Wolverine. <laughs> if he if Wolverine wasn't used and abused so much on ID cards, I'd probably like him more. Uh, but that Wolverine just looked cool. He was a good Wolverine, that Headmaster Wolverine. So, yeah, yeah guys, that is all for this week. So, remember, uh, I'm going to build out AI. Simeon's building out of X Men Xavier School. Vote on the Facebook link to this video, the Twitter link to this video, the Discord. That's Thursday Throwdown if you're in our Dialage Discord. And then, of course, the comment section of this video. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Happy trails. <laughs>